good afternoon to all inductees and all participants. The establishment of the Academy of Master Surgeon Educators was an important milestone for the college. The Academy has opened a chapter that will continue to expand. The Academy is more than just honorific recognition. Let me say that up front. It is a working, living body that continually develops the science of education. Applying science to education is ongoing and an evolving process. Our induction ceremony is a very important ceremony and I will remind everyone to stay muted. The each inductee that I will introduce, you have 15 seconds or less. So that being said, I'm, I'm happy. This is a great time. I'm gonna turn it over to the architect and the innovator of the, the Academy, Dr. Ajisat Stever. Thank you very much, Dr. Brett, for your very kind words. On behalf of the Division of Education, I would like to warmly welcome everyone to this third annual induction ceremony of the American College of Surgeons Academy of Master Surgeon Educators. I have the great honor and privilege of serving as co-chair of the steering committee of the Academy, along with Dr. L.D. Britt. I would like to begin by recognizing the outstanding leadership of Dr. Britt that has been absolutely pivotal in the major strides that the Academy has made during the short period of time since it was established. Six years ago, the Board of Regents enthusiastically approved a proposal of the Division of Education to establish this unique academy. A steering committee composed of preeminent master surgeon educators was appointed, the model of the academy was created, and the standards and criteria for admission to this academy were defined. The academy was formally launched in 2017 and the first cohort of founding members and associate members was selected and inducted in 2018. In 2019, a new category of affiliate membership was introduced and the second cohort of members, associate members and affiliate members was selected and inducted. The mission of the Academy is to play a key leadership role in advancing the science and practice of education across all surgical specialties, promoting the highest achievements in the lifetimes of surgeons. The Academy, as Dr. Britt has mentioned, is not just an honorific body. Yes, belonging to the Academy is a huge honor, but this is an active and impactful group that has been pursuing a range of innovative and exciting programs. Last year, the Academy convened a special symposium on emerging technologies and artificial intelligence just prior to the Academy's 2019 induction ceremony. In the spring of 2020, during the early stages of the COVID-19 pandemic, a special committee of the Academy was appointed with renowned experts in surgical education as members to address the challenges and opportunities in surgery residency training during the pandemic and to focus on transformational changes in surgical training that will endure long, long after the pandemic. Work of this committee has resulted in two manuscripts that have been accepted for publication in prestigious peer reviewed journals design of a new web page of the Academy with peer-reviewed educational resources, launch of a new listserv of the Academy, initiation of new programs of virtual surgery grand rounds and virtual fireside chats, definition of strategies to conduct effective virtual interviews for residency training and pursuit of efforts to engage residents in the delivery of surgical care through telemedicine and telehealth. Work of the special committee has also culminated in a symposium on this topic that will be presented during the upcoming virtual clinical Congress of the college on the Monday afternoon of the Congress. The Academy continues to grow in numbers and has attracted great talent and expertise 
from across the house of surgery and indeed from many countries. This year, we received 52 applications for membership and associate membership. After stringent peer review, the steering committee selected 16 members and 24 associate members. Today, we will induct these 2020 inductees along with a few inductees from 2018 and 2019 cohorts who could not participate in the induction ceremonies during these years. I would like to congratulate all the inductees for this very high achievement and for the significant and impactful contributions they have made to surgical education throughout their careers. I would also recognize the guests of these inductees who have joined us today and who have been supportive of the inductees. Many leaders of the American College of Surgeons are with us here at the induction ceremony and several of them will welcome you and welcome the inductees. I would like to thank them for their strong support for the Academy and for everything we do. I would also like to especially thank Dr. David Hoyt, the Executive Director of the American College of Surgeons, our fearless leader for his valuable guidance and steadfast support that has been absolutely critical in us achieving what we have achieved. I would now like to recognize and express my profound gratitude to the members of the steering committee for the exemplary commitment and immense contributions to this landmark academy. I will start with Dr. L.D. Britt, who, as I mentioned previously, has been a stellar leader and co-chair of the steering committee. So Murray Brennan, Dr. Hali DeBoz, Dr. David Hoyt, Dr. Scott Levin, Dr. Lee Neumeyer, Dr. Carlos Pellegrini, and Dr. Anton Sadavi. Please join me in giving them a virtual round of applause. <laughs> Finally, before I conclude, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the following staff members of the Division of Education, without whose diligence and support we could not have done what we have done. Dr. Elisa Nagler and Ms. Susan Newman, well known to all of you, who serve as the core staff of this academy and their dedication to the academy remains legendary. A round of applause, please. Um, Ms. Linda Lupi and Ms. Rachel Williams Newman. By the way, uh, Ms. Newman just had um, a wonderful baby boy and they're both doing well. And we wish uh, Rachel and her family all the best and they both continue to make landmark contributions as senior staff. So please, a round of applause for them. Uh, Ms. Patrice Blair, the Associate Director of the Division of Education, again, well known to many of you, who continues to significantly advance the goals of the Academy and make huge contributions. A round of applause for her, please. And finally, um, Mr. Olivier Petinu, Ms. Sankom Ratsamwang, and Ms. Deidre McGrory, who are providing technical support for this virtual induction ceremony. Let's give them a hand as well. Once again, welcome to this joyous and very, very special event and our heartiest congratulations to the inductees. We look forward to your many contributions to the Academy and look forward to working with you shoulder to shoulder to take surgical education to the next level. Thank you very much. Dr. Anthony Atala. Thank you so much. It's really a pleasure to be part of this distinguished group of individuals. I would like to thank Dr. Sachdeva, the brainchild of this operation, and everyone at the college. I wish I could join all my fellow members today in person, hopefully next year. Thank you. Thank you. Next would be Dr. Abdallah Yunus Bashir. I'm honored and delighted to be a member of the Academy of Master Surgeon Educators. I would like to thank Professor Sajdiba and all the steering committee and all presidents of the American College of Surgeons. Thank you very much. Bashir from Jordan. Thank you, Dr. Bashir. Now I would like to um, 
introduce Dr. Professor Shinamani, if you would say a few words. I would like to thank uh, the entire committee and of course, uh, Dr. Sachdeva and the college for such a real honor. This is Professor Chintamani from India. And on behalf of our chapter, I would like to express our gratitude to the college for all the services rendered. Once again, thank you very much for this rare honor. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Chintamani. Next will be Professor Lord R. Dazi. He was actually selected in 2018. So Dr. D uh, Professor Dazi, if you will come on and make a few comments. Dr. Brent, thank you very much for this uh, great privilege uh, to be member of this august group. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Shadiva for his support over the years in this very important subject matter, but more importantly, bringing it up to where it is today. Apologies, it's taking me two years to cross the Atlantic to receive this on a Zoom call. Uh, so uh, a lot to be learning from that. And I received this award in the memory of many of our surgical colleagues around the globe who've lost their life on the back of COVID. Thank you, Professor Darcy. I would now like to introduce Dr. E. Christopher Ellison. Dr. Britt, thank you very much. Dr. Sashtiva, thank you as well. Uh, it's an honor, a great privilege, truly humbled uh, to be accepted uh, as a member of this distinguished group. And I will commit myself to the mission uh, and service of the Academy. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ellison. The next inductee would be Dr. Alberto Raul Perez. Dr. Perez. Uh, good afternoon all. Thank you, Dr. Britt. Thank you, Dr. Shaktiva. Uh, I miss not being in Chicago due to the COVID-19 with the rest of the accolades. I am blessed and thrilled by this uh, honor and recognition, and I want to thank the ACS and the Academy of Master Social Educators. Thank you, Dr. Ferreras. Next will be Dr. A. Fingerhut. Very pleased to be part of this uh, uh, outstanding group of people. Um, I'm truly honored and I think I owe a word of thanks to not only to Dr. Sajiba and, and Mr. Britt, but also to past members who are not long, no longer with us. I think I'm here uh, mainly because of people like uh, Maurice McCadier and Donald Trunkey, so, and Hiram Polk. So thank you. And let Thank me note that much. Dr. A. Fingergut, uh, he got in uh, in 2000, he was selected in 2019. Next will be Dr. Arun Gassan. Yes, yes, thank you for the, this great honor. I wanted to thank a few people who have helped me to get to this level of education. Carlos Pellegrini and Scott Levin have been my friends for a long time. John Potts helped me through the RRC. Um, and Dr. Sesteva helped me to get into the various summits on surgical education for the last three years. So those have all helped me and I hope to take that on to our council in plastic surgery to import some of these educational parameters. Thank you, Dr. Gassan. Next will be Dr. Sean Christopher Grandin. Oh, thanks very much, Dr. Britt. I'd like to thank the Academy and the American College for this huge honor and uh, I'd like to congratulate all the other in as well. I'm looking forward much. Thank you, Dr. Grandin. Next will be Dr. Graham T. Layer. Dr. Layer, and Dr. Layer got in and two, was selected in 2019. Thank you so much, to Dr. Britt. It's a tremendous honor to join this uh, prestigious uh, Academy of Master Surgeon Educators. I'm currently speaking from Cobham, just to the southwest of London, the United Kingdom. And uh, I've had much to do with the American College of Surgeons over the last uh, two decades being involved in the International Relations Committee and Chair of the Scholars Committee and uh, the UK Governor. And it's a great honor to continue my work, the American College of Surgeons with the Academy of Master Surgeon Educators. Thank you very much. Thank the uh, Academy and I thank the uh, American College of Surgeons. Good thank evening. you, Dr. Leia. Next will be Dr. Mark Maligoni, who was also selected in 2019. Well, I'm honored and excited to be in the company of this group of elite teachers and want to thank the steering committee, Dr. Britt and Dr. Sashtiva for uh, my election. I also want to thank my mentors and colleagues, 
who have made me a better teacher by their fine examples. And also congratulations to my fellow inductees. Thank you, Dr. Malagoni. Next will be Dr. Jeffrey Banks Matthews. Thank you, Dr. Britt. It's a great honor to be with all of you and to be able to see uh, in the gallery so many friends and colleagues from around the world. Congratulations to uh, everybody who's participating in the Academy and uh, I thank you very much uh, for the uh, election. I look forward to being able to raise a non-virtual toast uh, to everybody in the not too distant future. Thank you, Dr. Dr. Matthews. Next will be Dr. Ernest E. Moore, known as Gene Moore. Um, Dr. Moore. Thank you, uh, Dr. Britt. It is indeed a great honor to join this uh, prestigious Academy. And I thank the steering committee for the privilege. The American College of Surgeons is recognized around the world as the premier surgical educational forum. I look forward to participating in this laudable mission for the ultimate sake of our patients. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Moore. Next will be Dr. Dr. Gerardo Munoz Maldonado. Dr. Maldonado. Thank you very much, Dr. Britt. I'm very glad to, to be joined with this academy. I'm very, very proud of this. And uh, I'm going to give you some uh, greetings for Monterey, Mexico. Thank you very much for all. And thank you, Dr. Maldonado. Next will be Dr. Linda Riley. Thank you, Dr. Britt, uh, Satchdeva, members of the Academy and the College. I'm deeply honored to be joining this group and actually, frankly, astonished to be joining this group. I hope that I can continue to contribute to the education of residents at a level that rewards your selection of me to join you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dr. Riley. Next will be Dr. Jatin Shaw. Dr. Shaw. Thank you, Dr. Britt and Dr. Satchdeva, and my special thanks to Dr. Murray Brennan for inducing me to join the academy. I, I'm honored to be inducted uh, to this academy. I plan to contribute to the activities of the academy in international surgical education, which is my area of interest and expertise. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Dr. Shaw. Next will be Dr. Richard Sherman. Dr. Sherman. Thank you very much, Richard Sherman from UCLA. This is a great honor. There's no doubt that to join a community of scholars, surgeons that are dedicated to education is one of our highest missions. I applaud the American College of Surgeons and all the leadership for conceiving and growing this particular endeavor, the Academy. Let me just say I'm reminded in 1974 when I started my internship at the old Peter Van Brigham Hospital and I first faced Dr. Francis D. Moore Sen Jr. And he told us, if you don't have an academic career that prizes number one, education and mentorship, you will fail in your endeavors. So therefore, Dr. Moore, I think I have done you proud. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Dr. Sherman. Now, Dr. Carl Snyderman. Dr. Snyderman. Uh, thank you for this wonderful honor. I'm very excited not only to get to know all of you and work with you, but also to learn from you so that I can improve my own uh, education. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Steinerman. Now, Dr. Julie Ann Sosa. Dr. Sosa. Thank you. I'm honored to be one of three inductees today from the great Department of Surgery at the University of California, San Francisco. The roles of mentor, teacher, and in particular, educator, scholar, are the ones I cherish the most. Thank you so very much to the college and to the academy and all of my mentors, teachers, mentees, students, and collaborators. Today is about paying it forward. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sosa. Next will be somebody else from San Francisco, Dr. Lawrence W. Wade, known as Dr. Larry Wade. Dr. Wade? I was trained in the 1960s under Dr. Dunphy, uh, my uh, my department chairman and my main uh, mentor for my entire uh, career. Uh, he and uh, the second person I'd like to acknowledge uh, 
uh, for his teaching and insight is Dr. John Najarian, who uh, as a uh, resident and uh, subsequently a faculty member was a very important uh, person as you uh, who know, also know John would agree. Uh, and finally, I'd like to uh, uh, take a bow to my family who have supported me all uh, along the way. And uh, it's been an enjoyable, meaningful time. Thank you. Next will be Dr. Douglas Wood. Dr. Douglas Wood. Thank you. I'm uh, incredibly honored and humbled to be part of such a distinguished group of individuals who've dedicated their careers to education. Really, I can think of nothing more important than teaching the next generation of surgeons. Uh, they're the ones that are going to be caring for us and also advancing our specialty. Thank you. Thank you. Next will be Dr. Stephen Young. Thank you, Dr. Britton, to the Academy. I, uh, thank you, Dr. Satchdeva, for the many years of collaboration and guiding me through this process. Um, in addition to what has already been said, I also want to and thank my family who allows me to do what I, I want to do to Dr. John Potts who got me uh, into this organization um, and also to my students and trainees who um, allow me to do the teaching and have accepted what I've done. And finally to my first uh, science teacher Othelia Winfield which I mentioned in my essay and she's really the one who got me interested in education so I thank her uh, for all her decades of support. Thank you, Dr. Yang. I think it's time for all of us to give the inductees in the membership category a round of a virtual applause. <laughs> we will now go to the category of associate members, those inductees. I will start with Dr. Sheree Abdel Missy. Thank you, Dr. Britt and the college and everyone on this um, esteemed group. I'm honored and privileged to be a part of it. I have to credit a lot of people for uh, supporting me and uh, nurturing this um, development myself. I hope to contribute to the group and continue to make an impact in surgical education. And I'll send a special thanks to Dr. Ellison and Dr. Harzman who are on the call tonight. Thank thanks. you, Dr. Thing. Next will be Dr. Michael Award. Dr. Award. I would like to thank the Academy, Dr. Britt, and especially Dr. Sachdeva, who himself has been a mentor to me since I was a resident for this honor, of which I am incredibly humbled. I would also like to thank so many mentors across the years who have brought me to this point as a surgical educator, too many to name here. But in particular, I would like to thank my nominators, Drs. Timothy Eberlein and Dr. Mary Klingensmith, who have given me so many educational opportunities here in St. Louis. Congratulations to my fellow inductees, and I look forward to contributing to the Academy and to the college. Thank you, Dr. Ward. Next will be Dr. Sandra Beck. Thank you. I'd like to also thank the, uh, the Academy for this honor and the American College of Surgeons. I do owe a lot to my mentors and also my trainees who have taught me so much over the years. Um, I look forward to participating in this group and, and making contributions. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Beck. Our next inductee will be Dr. Carl Villamorio. Thank you uh, for this honor. Uh, I'd like to thank Dr. Sofer Potts and Angelos for nominating me. And it's nice to see so many uh, friends, mentors, and colleagues on the uh, call. Wish we could have been in person, particularly as the Murphy professor. It would have been great to do this at the Murphy Auditorium, but uh, hopefully in future years. Thank you again. Thank you. Next will be Dr. Jennifer Cho. Dr. Cho. Hi, thank you very much to Dr. Britt and Dr. Sachdeva and the rest of the Academy for this opportunity. Uh, I do want to thank uh, my nominators as well, Dr. Gary Dennington and Dr. Doug Smink and uh, other mentors on the call, including Dr. Termulin and several others. So uh, education is a team sport all the way through and uh, this group definitely proves that. So thank you. Thank you, Dr. Cho. Our next inductee is Dr. David Tom Cook, Dr. Cook. Thank you very much. I really want to uh, express my appreciation to the Academy and also the American College of Surgeons. So it's a wonderful organization and I'm looking forward to contributing to this organization in this unique way. I want to thank my mentors and my sponsors and all those who've taken the time and the, had the patience to educate me. 
And I would like to thank my parents who are my original educators, both retired elementary school principals that, that really sparked the bug for education in me. And finally, I'd like to thank my students and my trainees uh, who are sponges and really allow me to pay it forward. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Cook. Our next inductee is Dr. Karen Deppenbach. Uh, thank you to the Academy. I'm honored to be inducted into the Academy of Master Surgeon Educators. I'm here as a result of the support and mentorship of many amazing surgeons, and I look forward to continuing to learn from this prestigious group. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Deppenbach. Our next inductee is Dr. Peter J. DePasco. Dr. DePasco. Thank you, Dr. Britt. Being a member of the Academy and sharing in this grand effort with so many luminary educators is an honor I'll carry my entire life. I send my profound gratitude and congratulations to all participants, inductees in the Academy. Thank you, Dr. DePasco. Next will be Dr. John F. Edit. Greetings from Baylor Heart and Vascular in Dallas. Drs. Britt and Sachdeva, thank you for the honor of the induction into the Academy. I would like to simply thank a, a person who uh, was my chief resident and who tragically died a couple of months ago in a car wreck and who taught me more about how to be a surgeon than anyone else. That was uh, Russell Nauta. Again, thank you for the opportunity of entry. Thank you. Dr. Next would be Dr. Eric Elster. Dr. Elster. Greetings. Uh, it's an honor to join such esteemed surgical educators in the academy. I am fully committed to the Academy's goals of advancing both the practice and science of education, as well as, as well as fostering innovation, fostering the translation of innovation into action. So thank you very much to all on the call, and I look forward to working together. Thank you, Dr. Elsa. Our next inductee is Dr. Jeffrey M. Fama. Thank you, Dr. Brett. Uh, there's nothing more rewarding in our profession than to educate future surgeons. I can't thank the Academy enough, my colleagues and mentors, and I'm so proud to be part of this prestigious group of surgical educators. I thank you um, and I really look forward to working with all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Palmer. Our next inductee was selected in 2019, uh, Dr. Charles M. Friel. I will now welcome the, the inductee, Dr. Jonathan Dean Gates. Dr. Gates, and Dr. Gates came in in 2019. Thank you very much, Dr. Britt and Dr. Shaftiva, as well as the steering committee in the American College of Surgeons for this opportunity and this honor that's been bestowed upon me. A special thanks to Dr. Ashley, and uh, Stan Ashley and Len Jacobs as well, and again to Dr. John Manick and William Simon. I feel the pressure from Dr. Bit, uh, Dr. Britt to keep it short. So as Franklin Roosevelt so cleverly said, be sincere, be brief, and be seated. Again, thank you very much for all you do. Well, you've accomplished that and congratulations. Thank you. Um, next will be Dr. Kimberly Hendershot. Dr. Hendershot. Yes, thank you so much to the Academy for this honor. Um, I would like to thank my family, friends, and mentors for their support. And I would also like to thank all the female pioneers, both notorious national figures and understated local heroes that helped pave the path for female leaders in our field. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Indershot. Our next inductee is Dr. Juliet Lee. Dr. Lee. Congratulations to all the inductees. I am so honored and privileged to be part of this august group. Thank you to the college, the steering committee, and the academy. I want to especially thank my mentors, namely Dr. Anton Sadawi, my chair here at George Washington University for his leadership and his support for all I do education wise here. I also wanna thank my chair during my training, Dr. Joseph Giordano and my chair during medical school, Dr. Arthur Alsis. Congratulations to all. Thank you so much, Dr. Lee. Our next inductee is Dr. Stephen McCloud. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for the opportunity and the privilege of being part of this organization and this institution. I'd like to thank my family for putting up with me, for doing my education. I'd like to thank my colleagues for making me a better person, and not least of which I'd like to thank my residents for making me look better than I deserve to every day of the week. Thank you again for the opportunity. Thank you. Our next inductee is Dr. Marion McDonald. Good afternoon. Thank you to the college and to the academy for this great honor. 
especially for me as a surgeon in the community thing, involved in teaching and resident education. This is a very great honor to recognize those of us who are at the community hospitals that are participating in education and forging ahead. I wanted to also thank my mentor, Dr. Joe Bysky of the American Board of Surgery. Uh, we've known each other for years since my, and I also wanted to thank all my residents and the medical students who teach me as much as I teach them. Thank you, Dr. McLeod. Next uh, inductee is uh, Dr. Akobus Nomikos. Dr. Nomikos. Thank you very much, Dr. Breed. It is one of uh, the highest honors of my professional life, my induction to the uh, associate, as an associate member of the Academy. I want to thank the, the American College of Surgeons, which for the last 30 years has been my best sending friend. From Piraeus, Greece, I am sending to all of you my warmest greetings. Thank you very much. Our next person will be Dr. Jidish Patel. Uh, I'd like to thank the Academy and the ACS for this wonderful uh, opportunity. Uh, I know it sounds cliche, but it truly is an honor to be uh, a part of the Academy and uh, a part of this decorated group of uh, master surgeon educators. I would like to thank my family who's put up with me uh, while doing some of these endeavors, as well as uh, my, uh, my mentors, uh, and most importantly, the learners and trainees who've, uh, who've dealt with me, who've made me a better person uh, and better surgeon, I think. I look forward to collaborating with you all and meeting with you all in a very near future and uh, as we work towards our common mission. Thanks again. Thank you so much, Dr. Patel. Next will be Dr. Curry Michelle Rosencrantz. Dr. Rosencrantz. Thanks, Dr. Britt. I'm really so incredibly honored to be in the company of so many master educators in the truest sense of the word. So I really do wanna thank the Academy and the college for including me in this. Um, I'm so excited to learn from all of you and for all of us to move the educational mission. A special thanks to Dr. Sandra Wong, who's my chair, a friend, and an advocate who's nominated me um, and who has been such a great help through my career. Thank you. And congrats. Thank you, Dr. Rosencrantz. Then next will be Dr. Alan Saber. Thank you very much, Dr. Brett and Dr. Justiva. And special thank also for Susan Newman that make the process uh, easy and I'm honored to join the academy and look forward to work with everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Next will be Dr. Elizabeth Santos. My fellow colleagues, it's a great pleasure being here with you. I thank the academy for allowing me to be part of this very special group of educators. I'm very proud of it. I'm a surgeon at Federal University of Rio de Janeiro where I also am the residency program director. I am the general secretary of the Brazilian College of Surgeons, and I am also an amateur novelist with six books published. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Santos. Next will be Dr. Babak Sarani. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank the Iran College of Surgeons, the committee for this uh, incredible honor uh, I'd also like to thank uh, three or four of the key mentors I've had in my career that have allowed me to sit here with you today. My current chairman, Dr. Anton Sadawe at George Washington, um, Dr. Bill Schwab, uh, Dr. Andy Peitzman, and Dr. Sam Tisherman. It is an absolute uh, pleasure and a true privilege uh, to train uh, those who are uh, up and coming in our ranks. Thank you again. Next will be Dr. Bridget Smith. Thank you, Dr. Brent. It's truly an honor and a privilege to be joining the Academy. I'm sincerely humbled to be considered part of this group, particularly as I look around the virtual room at everyone who's gathered here. I owe thanks to many, but in particular wanted to say thank you to Dr. Erica Mitchell, life career-long mentor and becoming a close friend, Dr. Varghese, Klingen Smith, and Shabahang, of course, as well. I'm committed to contributing to the work of the Academy and look forward to working with all of you going forward. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Smith. Next will be Dr. Philip Smith. Thank you, Dr. Britt. Uh, it's an honor to become a part of this academy where I see so many people I value as role models, mentors, sponsors, and colleagues in surgery and surgery education. I'm eager to do my part to forward the mission of this group. Thank you. Thank you. Next will be Dr. Georgios Sofas. Thank you, Dr. Britt and Dr. Sachdeva and the Academy for this great honor. It's really a humbling experience to be among a group of people that uh, 
I really admired over the years and have served as role models. Um, currently in Greece and looking forward to helping any way I can in the work of uh, the Academy. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of medical records, Dr. Sofos. Good luck. <laughs> Dr. Sofos was elected in 2019. Our next inductee is Dr. Rashaya Baziri. Thank you, Dr. Britt. Um, I am honored and grateful to be part of such a distinguished group. Um, I would like to thank the Academy and uh, the college and specifically uh, Dr. Sadawi for his continued mentorship and guidance. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Zerizzi. Next will be Dr. Peter Stephen Yu. Thanks to the college and the Academy and Dr. Uh, Britt and Sashdiva for including me in this uh, very learned group of educators whom I've admired so much over the years. And in particular, I'd like to acknowledge the innumerable ways in which our trainees and students uh, enrich, enrich our careers and our lives. It's a uh, Truly my most humble honor to be an associate of this academy and I hope to deliver on the promise that the organization offers. Thank you, Dr. Yu. Now it's time for us to give another virtual applause for the, this category of associate members. I will now turn it over to my colleague, Dr. Sasteva. Dr. Sasteva. Congratulations to all. And I would like to turn the uh, program over to Dr. David Hoyt to propose the champagne toast, the virtual champagne toast. Now, I apologize. This is going to be four toasts because I have a lot of things I have to toast. First of all, um, Dr. Britt could not be with us, here, be with us, with us last year. And Dr. Britt, we're inspired by your tradition and commitment to leading the Academy. And it's so good to have you with us this year. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. The second is to Dr. Sech Teva and the steering committee. You all have seen it from an idea to the reality and now to a keystone of our professional identity. Also to our staff who keep this organization alive, 724-365. Here, here. Next to the existing members and associate members who every day fulfill the values the Academy stands for. Masters of education are the stewards of our ACS mission statement to serve all with skill and fidelity. We all aspire to be like them, associate with them, and be recognized for our commitment to the same ideals. To you, cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, to the new members, congratulations on all your accomplishments. These have been recognized tonight for really your higher commitment to teaching others and con contributing to the teaching. To teaching is the foundation of optimal patient care. Without these values, we have no North Star, and it's you inducted tonight that will lead us in the future. Here, here, may we drink to the Academy with great heart and hope that we can all be together uh, eye to eye next year. Thank you, Dr. Hoyt. I'm gonna turn it back over to Dr. Sash Steva. It's time now for us to um, request our leaders to say a few words and to welcome the inductees. We will start with Dr. Valerie Roosh, uh, president of the American College of Surgeons. Dr. Roosh. Thank you, Dr. Satchteva, and thank you, Dr. Britt. Uh, it's really a pleasure to have an opportunity to say just a few words today. I'd like to extend my warmest congratulations to all of the inductees. And without sounding unduly partisan, I am absolutely delighted to note that there are several new members from my own specialty, cardiothoracic surgery. So cheers particularly to you. Thank you. I think that there's never been a greater need for a brain trust dedicated to the educational needs of our surgical trainees and to surgeons in practice. And this year in particular, the COVID-19 pandemic has really cast 
a laser sharp focus on the need for novel approaches to education, forcing all of us to frame shift abruptly to virtual platforms. And so I look forward to this very distinguished group and the new inductees continuing their efforts to examine and implement novel approaches to surgical education uh, at a point in time where we truly need these. Again, my congratulations and much gratitude for all of your efforts. Thank you very much, Dr. Roosh. Let's give Dr. Roosh a round of applause. Our next leader who's going to address us is Dr. Beth Sutton, the chair of our Board of Regents, Dr. Sutton. Thank you. Often when I'm doing a case, I hear a voice in my ear as if from over my shoulder imparting wisdom. And I feel a warm flush of kinship and gratitude to that person who taught me to be a surgeon. When I was a trainee, very few of those voices hinted at origins in another country or culture, and none belonged to women or black surgeons. It's wonderful to look out over this diverse group and imagine the symphony of voices that our young surgeons will now hear. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Sutton. Let's give Dr. Sutton a round of applause. And the next leader is Dr. Scott Levin, who is the vice chair of our Board of Regents, also a member of the steering committee and a founding member of the academy. Dr. Levin. Thank you, Dr. Sachativa. And uh, Dr. Britt, I want to recognize your leadership we all stand on the shoulder of surgical educator giants. And it's an honor for me this afternoon to make a few remarks to recognize your commitment to surgical education. As you've heard, now more than ever, this commitment is needed and needs to be recognized as we take responsibility for training those that will care for us and our communities. As I thought about what to say, I reflected on my internship 38 years ago and remembered those I held dear as teachers are no longer, that are no longer living. I remember Dr. Billy Pete, a true Southern gentleman trained at the Massachusetts General Hospital and returned to the South. He was always respectful of all that he met and all that he encountered. I remember uh, during surgery, uh, his personal conduct was exemplary. As a nervous intern, when I entered the R OR and he saw me, he said, howdy, handsome. I had hair back then. <laughs> when we were ready to close an abdomen, he would turn to the scrub nurse and say politely, may I have some wash, please? Which meant to say, may I have some irrigation fluid? It's funny how we remember our training. In those days, there was Bill Shingleton, Ray Postlewaite, William Seeley, Barnes Woodall, Kenneth Pickrell, names you may know. Woodall and Pickrell were disciples of Alfred Blaylock at uh, Johns Hopkins, as was my mentor and past president of the college, Dr. David Sabiston. Speaking of education, Dr. Sabiston had a keen interest in his Duke medical students and of course the residents and I remember rounding on his service with the entourage. It was to me like a religious experience, seriously. And now I fast forward 38 years as a department chair and vice chair of the Board of Regents. And I hope that Dr. Sabiston would appreciate the value of the environment that he created at Duke. Lifelong lessons such as attention to detail. And he would say to us, quote, what would Lord Kelvin say, meaning, precision of measurement is critical in what we do in surgery. And these were principles that preceded promise and outcome studies yet have stood the test of time for decades. Our teaching tools are different today compared to what they were 
when I began medical school in 1978. Internet, Zoom, FaceTime, and digital transmission of images from the trauma bay, I suppose are advances, and they are. I still value books that I can hold in my hand and place on a shelf and reading a journal with printed pages. That's me. Yet what indoors that I hope you will agree is mission critical as you take your ranks in this, in this academy, your place in the ranks of this academy. It's the Socratic method of teaching. I ask questions to every learner around the operating room table every day. Case in point, when I ask for DeBakey forceps, I ask the medical students, do you know who was, Donald, who was, who was Michael DeBakey? Some know, but many times they don't know. And I say to them, well, then you go home and read, and I want to hear from you tomorrow who that is. Dr. Sabiston instilled in me a keen sense of medical and surgical history. As part of our leg legacy, perhaps forgotten, I hope that you will think about your teaching and emphasize our history. Finally, a word to the Academy members about professionalism. In addition to all of you being superb teachers of science of medicine, the technical aspects of our craft, and those that guide research to generate new knowledge, remember, you are role models. Decorum, a word that Dr. Sabiston held dear, is important. Your appearance, conduct, humility, and vulnerability are your best assets. I insist that my residents wear a tie, wear a clean white coat, and I say to them, if you're seen running around in town in scrubs, get another job. Call me old fashioned and not with the times. However, the college has standards, this academy has standards, and your value to surgery has been redefined by this academy. Go forth and create the next giants. You are all giants. I salute you and your strong shoulders. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Levin. Thank you very much, Dr. Levin. Let's give Dr. Levin a round of applause. I would like to uh, again thank the college leaders for your inspirational messages to the inductees and to all of us. And before I turn it over back to um, Dr. Britt to uh, uh, share his concluding and closing remarks, uh, let me again uh, congratulate all the inductees. It is a real joy to have you part of the Academy and your accomplishments speak for themselves and we look forward to working with you even more closely. And thank you again to the steering committee. It really is such a joy to work with the steering committee and with the talent and the expertise that exists in the steering committee. And each time I come away from the steering committee meetings, I come away even more energized. Have a great uh, rest of the evening, night or morning, wherever you are in the world. Thank you all for joining us. It's been great. And I'll turn it back to you, Dr. Britt, to close the ceremonies. Well, Dr. Sassy, this gives me a chance to congratulate the inductees and the staff, but I want to particularly congratulate you for being the architect of this academy. Again, I want people to stay safe and let's roll up our sleeves and continue to work. Thank you very much and have a good weekend. Thank you. Thank you.